In today's episode of Movie Mistakes, we're going to take a look at Snoopy Presents It's the Small Things Charlie Brown. In this short film Charlie Brown is determined to win the big baseball game, but right before the matchup, Sally bonds with a little flower on the pitcher's mound and vows to protect it at all costs. Before we dive into that, I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers. Sammy Silly and Awesome Adventures, thank you for the recommendation. I absolutely love Charlie Brown, so this one did my heart a lot of good. Thank you. Hello ladies and gentlemen boys and girls, welcome back to Moving Mistakes. And today we're going to show you a few of the goofs we found in. It's the small things Charlie Brown. Good morning Linus. Good morning Charlie Brown. And as usual, we got a stamp this morning with a spoiler alert. So if you haven't seen the episode, check it out. Without further delay let's get into it. Enjoy. So far first mistake Charlie Brown is on the mound pitching the peppermint patty. As we split the screen we're gonna focus heavily on Lucy who is playing what it looks like shortstop. In the clip on the left you'll notice that she's standing on the dirt, but if you focus your attention to the clip on the right she is now standing in the grass. I'm already way ahead of you. I know most of you are going to say that she could have moved backward, right? While that is possible, we're gonna chalk this up as a mistake nonetheless. For mistake number two, we got a bird's eye view, no pun intended, I'm Charlie Brown's entire team. So as we split the screen, focus your attention on Franklin, who is in between first and second base stretching. But as Charlie Brown walks toward home base to greet the team in the clip on the right, you can see Franklin and the background balancing a baseball. While it's unclear how he got over there so quickly, we do know one thing, this is a mistake. Keep your knees up, Shermie. That's a five-star move. <sighs> My dog. The all-star. We can tell from Charlie Brown's voice and his demeanor that he is not happy with Snoopy's antics. And if you are a fan of the show you have probably made a mental note that he has repeatedly complained about Snoopy. Why can't I have a normal dog like everyone else? However, if it wasn't for man's best friend, Charlie Brown would have found himself in a lot more trouble than he could have possibly imagined. Snoopy has repeatedly, over the years, gotten Charlie Brown out of lots of very sticky situations. This one included. In this clip, the baseball takes a wild turn and knocks over a jug of purple liquid. But as we split the screen, you'll notice that the jug is further to the left than it is in the clip on the right. Also, the birds change positions just like the purple liquid on the ground. Good grief. Hello, Big Brother! Your star player has arrived! This mistake is less of a visual goof but more of a matter of safety. The whole team is already on the field practicing for the big game. So how did Sally get there? Note that she specifically told the audience what her age is. You promised me when I turn five, I can join your team. So we know from the clip of Charlie Brown and Linus walking over to the field that where they are practicing is not across the street. It is several blocks away. So who brought Sally to the field? Or did she walk by herself? I know we never see Charlie Brown's parents, but from the way this was filmed, it appears to me that she walked over there by herself. Which is not safe. Was very sweet of Charlie Brown to give Sally an opportunity to play on the team. You promised me when I turn five, I can join your team. Okay, Sally, a promise is a promise. So I Sally gots to catch the ball notice he trips over her uniform and falls down. Watching the clip on the left, she takes a pretty hard fall as she trips. This is all a part of baseball. But if you direct your attention to the clip on the right you'll notice that the uniform has vanished all of a sudden. I'm uncertain why the animators didn't feel the need to put the uniform back in, but I'm assuming they felt like no one would notice or care. <sighs> Oh no, it's Peppermint Patty! 
So over this scene, we finally get to see Peppermint Patty as she arrives in style. When the screen splits, we can see that her team is close behind her and arriving in the same dramatic fashion she did. Oh, and did I forget to mention they all have helmets on? That's kind of important. So, as we get a look at the team in the clip on the right we can now see that they're all wearing their baseball caps. So where did the helmets go? They could have taken them off, but that would mean they will be on the ground somewhere near the bicycles. The fact that the helmets are nowhere in sight leads me to believe that the animators goofed once again. So as Peppermint Patty does her donut she kicks up a bunch of dust directed at Charlie Brownstein. When the screen splits notice that there is a baseball on the ground on the left hand side. But on the right, the baseball has vanished. It's possible that the baseball could have been blown away by the dust, but I don't think that's the case either. Just yet another point for movie mistakes. In this part, the teams merge together for some friendly confrontation. If you analyze the clip on the left you'll notice that as the two teams come together there's nothing on the ground in between. But if you direct your attention to the clip on the right you can see that there is a newspaper on the ground just behind Peppermint Patty, that wasn't there previously. I think it's amazing that the animators wanted to add a little more substance to the scene, but this could have been done in the previous shot as well. The better half of the neighborhood tomorrow. Peppermint Patty has been a staple of Charlie Brown since its inception. And to make her the arch enemy of Charlie Brown is pretty cute. But I take exception to the fact that she's allowing her team to disrespect her longtime friends. Take a listen. Hey coach! Do we really have to play here? It looks more like a landfill than a ball field. Yeah, and dirtier than their third basement. <laughs> I understand if she wants to start her own team, but there's no way she should be allowing her teammates to disrespect her longtime friends. There could have been a falling out between Charlie Brown and Peppermint Patty that we were not privy to, but I think she should have defended them nonetheless. Sally has stayed behind to sulk over the fact that she is not ready to play baseball just yet. So actually lays down on the pitcher's mound we can see in the clip on the left that she is all alone. No rocks, grass, or flowers. So as you turn your attention to the clip on the right you can see that there is a flower that popped up there that wasn't there before. Maybe it was more of a magical flower to help Sally through this hard time of not being able to play baseball, but you know the premise of this channel. It's the point out mistakes and goofs that you didn't see. You're welcome. So what did you think of these movie mistakes? And don't forget to let us know what you'd like to see next, using the hashtag mistakes. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. We'll keep you updated on all of our up and coming videos. Thanks for hanging out with us here at Moving Mistakes and we'll see you next time. I want to give a shout out to all of our faithful subscribers. Thank you guys for returning again and again. You guys are the best.